The official Amphibia Season 3 trailer has been released, and here's what you need to know. First off, great news. Marcy is alive. Although, how do I say this? Chances are, the current situation is even worse than before. Marcy is being possessed by the beast. In the trailer's final scene, the beast's eyes appear on Marcy's head, a wide evil grin on her face, which is why I'm confident we are dealing with a possession instead of mind controlling. The fact that the eyes appeared on Marcy is a clear indicator that the beast is now inside of her. Why is it important to distinguish between possession and mind control? Well, Marcy being possessed confronts Anne and Sasha with one groundbreaking problem and one once in a lifetime chance. The big problem with possessions is that another being enters someone's body and essentially replaces that person's consciousness. Each show usually has its own understanding of how this works, so possibly Marcy is still in there. The beast is just repressing her personality. But just as likely as not, the beast could have murdered Marcy's soul in order to use her body as a vessel. On one hand, speaking from the viewer's perspective, would the creators really just take Marcy from us like that and not give her any further development? On the other hand, Andrea's ironically asked her, are you ready to forget about your childhood friends? Strongly suggesting that Marcy would be forgetting about them forever, what supports the idea that she is substantially gone. Nevertheless, we should not entirely rule out the alternative of Marcy being brainwashed. As a rule, brainwashing can be undone. I believe as soon as Marcy is saved by Yunan and Olivia, we can tell what's the case. Because if she behaves normally for for the time being, it's likely that the beast is lying dormant inside of her and can just take control whenever it likes. The trailer basically confirmed that it's not thanks to General Yunan's combat abilities that she and Olivia managed to get Marcy out of the castle. At this point, Marcy is already being possessed. They only succeed in saving Marcy because Andreas allowed them to. It's part of his plan. They want Marcy to infiltrate the protagonists and for that they need Marcy to stay conscious so that the beast's cover isn't blown until the time to make use of her body is convenient. Meaning they let Marcy escape on purpose so she can meet up with Sasha. Later on they might even purposely create an opening for those two to travel to earth to reunite with Anne. When that time has come the beast will reveal itself. At this point a heads up, mind that this scene does not occur after Marcy's escape. This is definitely part of a flashback, because the castle isn't even in that place anymore, and Marcy has a broken leg, suggesting that this is set shortly after Marcy's arrival in Amphibia, since in her theme song Takeover, she explained she broke her leg at that time. Anyway, in that event, what actually counts is that Anne and Sasha won't know for sure whether Marcy's mind is still alive. They have no other choice but to assume she can be saved. And for that very reason, fighting her will be a huge pain. What leads us to the arising opportunity. Assuming that the being that we refer to as the beast entirely moved into Marcy's body by means of the device the body was attached to, if Marcy's body is killed while taking care that the beast can't flee into someone else's body, will the beast die too? Wouldn't it be of advantage to get rid of the beast while it's in a weak body? The possibility certainly exists, and Anne and Sasha will be aware of that. By the way, with the beast being inside of Marcy, Yunan and Olivia won't notice the beast's existence, because the chamber is completely empty. Accordingly, before Anne and Sasha can evaluate how to deal with Marcy, they are hit with the fact that an ancient mega monster exists. On that account, Anne and Sasha will face the cruelest dilemma there is. Should they try to save their friend, thus risking the villain succeeding, or kill their friend and live with the guilt forever? Thinking rationally, Marcy would probably even be willing to sacrifice herself, partially because she feels responsible and did kind of cause all of this to happen. But at least Anne will never, never ever agree to this. Could Anne and Sasha have different opinions on this topic and break out into a fight again in the worst possible moment? 
various episodes proved that Sasha isn't the type of person to let chances get away, and she has always been prepared to make sacrifices for the greater good. Though her stance may have drastically changed after finding Anne's diary, what could have set the final step in Sasha's redemption arc in motion. Correspondingly, the trailer points to Marcy slash the Beast not being defeated this way. There is a scene of an enormous foot stomping on a car. That is likely Andrea's foot. Hence it is confirmed that Andrea's comes to Earth in person. The only reasons why he would personally turn up are that all preparations for his plan are finished. Meaning that possessed Marcy may have fulfilled her mission. Or that the protagonists leave him no other choice, having restricted Marcy instead of having killed her. Unfortunately, it has to be mentioned that in the background there's a shape that looks like a Christmas tree. Accordingly, this scene might be an excerpt from the Christmas special, which may not even be canon. Still, the latter option isn't even unlikely, given that Anne is overpowered as heck. She's using her powers all over the place and appears to be getting the hang of them, as she's using them to protect her family. In other words, she catches up on how to activate the power on demand and realizes its whole potential. Zooming in on her eyes, it can't be overlooked that her pupils are now white instead of black, signifying that she must have reached a new level of proficiency. I'm curious whether other abilities besides the combat skills will be added, something that could make the blue gemstone's power unique compared to the other gems. A handy power to gain would be the ability to nullify the beast's evil influence, so that Anne could either exorcise the beast from Marcy's body or dispel the brainwashing. For breakdowns of all upcoming Amphibia episodes, subscribe to Froptoons. See you next time.